Hi friends, I hope everyone is safe. Let's talk today about uh, what is uh, Azure uh, Virtual Machine Agent and uh, how do we get to know more details about that. So one of the uh, user have asked me a specific query about uh, do you have any input to update Windows Guest Agent remotely on mul uh, multiple Azure VMs. We'll be talking more on that part as of uh, in this video. You can always find my scripts in this Git repository uh, under the PowerShell is pro, uh, under the PowerShell repository. You can either go and fork it or you can go and clone it. So you under the folder run commands in VM, you can actually find this run commands remotely. ps1 is the script which we are right now gonna run. Uh, please subscribe to my channel and you can always leave feedback about the videos and definitely come up with more videos on PowerShell and you can always request for specific demos and i'll definitely do come with that videos too in a one to two weeks from the time you have dropped a left a comment so before we jump before we jump into the script let's talk about what is uh, a windows virtual machine agent so windows virtual machine agent is actually a it's it is a process which runs in virtual machine so this is a key factor which uh, the, is a key uh, software which actually it just establishes the interaction between a Azure virtual machine and uh, Azure. So it interacts with fabric controller where it is uh, the VM, uh, the virtual machine is being in fact hosted. So if you see there is a particular Win VM01, this is an Azure virtual server 2016 data center. This is in fact a virtual machine which is hosted on fabric controller. So it interacts uh, this virtual machine agent is the uh, key uh, person to actually interact with this virtual machine to ensure that the azure services like uh, azure uh, backup and azure security are in fact and dhcp uh, even when your user is trying to run custom script extensions or any ex vm extensions all these services will be taken care by this virtual machine agent so inside virtual machine agent, there are two key areas where it is actually about provisioning agent and windows guest agent. Now here is what uh, one of the viewer has asked about how do we update the guest VM agent, a guest agent remotely. So there will be multiple VMs. Suppose your application is host and production and uh, uh, into a, it's a kind of a production environment and it is actually using IAS as a service. So infrastructure, infrastructure as a service. So you'll be having a lot of VMs and all those VMs uh, you would be having a Windows guest agent and you wanted to check whether it has been updated or not. Probably that is the query which uh, the viewer is having. So let's get more details about what is this. Uh, let me get the details of a VM. Now if you see under uh, the front end servers RG resource group, there are two VMs. So I wanted this specific VM in that specific VM. I wanted to know whether the provisioning agent and the Windows guest agent have been installed or not. So for that, I am expanding all the properties. So usually this is not how it actually shows. So using this parameter display hint and I'm expanding all the properties. So you will be seeing everything. So under the OS profile where here it is the OS profile. If you see Windows configuration, the provisioning agent is enabled and uh, automatic uh, updates have been enabled. So this is a common interview question. They will be asking about uh, uh, have you heard about uh, VM uh, agent and what does the takes care of it? So you have to mention it actually helps in terms of communicating to Azure for the Azure backup, the custom extent. It provides these services for the user for uh, we, uh, all the services of VM extensions. And uh, how do we ensure whether it has been enabled or not through this way, to, through checking whether the allowed extension operations is true. Okay. So the usually because when you are hosting a VM, a VM in the Azure, it, this provisioning agent will be enabled by default true. And uh, in some cases, while you're actually taking custom image, maybe the provisioning agent will be false, uh, but you can actually keep it true while you're hosting uh, 
and you're through the uh, arm templates or through whatever it is and you're deploying the machine uh, virtual machine you can actually enable that particular vm agent as true and uh, so here so how uh, there is no need of we manually going and updating uh, this particular provisioning agent it's by default uh, they they will be uh, automatically updated and we no need to be worried about it but to check whether when it what day, what date it was been uh, updated and everything this script will actually do the job for that so here what am i doing is in fact i am going and uh, taking all the resource groups under the uh, sorry under one particular resource group i am actually taking all the vms and in that i am going to os profile windows configuration vm agent whatever are being enabled as true so i'm and, and taking all those vm names and storing it in this dollar dot vms so this is available and i'm going inside each vm i'm uh, running an invoke az uh, vm run command where i'm saying that go look for uh, uh, in the c drive under the windows folder under the oem folder if you go and check for guest agent uh, whether it's a file or a folder go check for it and uh, get the details about when it uh, what is the name uh, of the and uh, last written under this guest agent fire folder so you will be getting all those details and uh, once you get that details you will be using the string functions and uh, you will be end of the day showing in a hu uh, human readable format way like the vm agent is uh, uh, this is found in this particular vm and it has been updated and so and so okay so all these are string functions i have particularly explained about the string functions in a video named running the commands remotely in vm azure vm so you can go and check it in my channel so let's go and run this in So now what happens uh, all the vms which are been there in that particular front end servers are there so let me go and uh, right now execute this so it's going and checking in win vm01 so then they invoke az vm run command has uh, started functioning so it's gonna go and check in that particular uh, folder whether there is a guest agent if there is anything in guest agent folder then it is going to bring all the uh, sub for sub files in that and it will display what are those name of those files and when it was uh, been modified so now if you see it is saying that uh, vma uh, vm agent package dot zip is updated on so and so date so found a vm agent in win vm01 so it's going and checking in win vm02 so here we got the second vm also if you see the vm agent uh, dot zip has been updated on so and so date and we have it is mentioning that vm agent has been found in this vm02 i hope this helps uh, please subscribe to my channel and you can leave feedback in the comments thank you